in the privacy of in my own heart, you know, it's a struggle. But you're also working with all your friends and your family, and they're working so hard. Today we're catching up with an incredible woman. Three surgeries, a hip replacement, 25 rounds of chemo. I pretty much feel like I'm coming to the end of the road almost every month, but I'm still here. We make some beautiful artwork and have gotten the word out to many people who didn't realize there was such a thing as appendix cancer. I remember the first time I came to visit, I almost broke down crying because of something her husband said. When she was diagnosed, we were having a conversation and she says, you know, I, I spent my life teaching my children how to live. Now I gotta teach them how to die. When you're facing death, how do you find a way to push onward for people all over the country and across the world? This is Forever Flowers. I'm Carol Koch and I created Forever Flowers to bring awareness to uh, appendix cancer across the country. In February 2017, I had my uh, appendix removed, and at that time they had found that um, I had had cancer for a couple years from my appendix, and it had spread all over. As her doctor explained it to me when I met him, it's a cancer that uh, doesn't show up on scans. There is not a lot of research out there. There's not a lot of funds. There's not a lot of doctors who specifically uh, work with appendix cancer. The outcome for appendix cancer isn't always very great, so I started making these flowers. I started engraving them and giving them to family and friends and neighbors, just kind of as a memento. They take a bunch of plates and they stack them, and then you've got a bowl and it looks kind of like flower petals. My daughters and my husband and son, they all kind of got together and said, we think we could sell these and maybe donate money to research. We make some beautiful artwork and have gotten the word out to many people who didn't realize there was such a thing as appendix cancer or who we're looking for someone to talk to about their appendix cancer. Dozens sold, raising more than $50,000 for appendix cancer research. We've had people come here and bring them to Italy, Germany, London. You've got every kind of color in here. They're all made of glass, which means that they can last when it rains, when it gets cold out. I like when people come in and they tell me about their cancer and their issues. I like to listen to people and what they've gone through and try to understand uh, where they've been. People that I can lean on, I mean, I text message all the time and we just With all people talk. people you had never known before. Right, right. That now have become part of this, this cancer support group. Yep. Each time people buy them, I'm honored that they do buy them. Three surgeries, a hip replacement, 25 rounds of chemo. I pretty much feel like I'm coming to the end of the road almost every month, but, um, but I'm still here. When I first met this family, it was Forever 2017. And we were hoping we'd get to Forever 2018 and Carol Koch is still engraving these in 2019. Think about that with every one that I engrave. It gave us one thing to all focus on together and come together for a reason. Working with all your friends and your family and they're working so hard. So you've got to work hard with them because they're giving it their all to keep me comfortable and keep me going. Unless you're sick, unless you go through something like this, you never know how much you need people. I'd like to pass on to other people, like don't be afraid to ask questions. I think this whole thing has only prolonged the journey. You know, not only was she trying to get out of the hospital for us, but she was trying to get out of the hospital for the flowers. We've decided to kind of bring Forever Flowers to an end. It's not just two years of making flowers, it's two years of surgeries and me being sick and in the hospital and all that pressure that goes along with that. And sometimes you just need to sit down and smell the flowers. <laughs> that was good.